Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? Sitting here in the truck, about to run into uh, Penn Station, grab some lunch. But I uh, just want to talk to you guys real fast. Hopefully you guys are doing okay. The uh, The rain has been just crazy the last few days. I mean, just from the looks of Facebook, Instagram, the news, I mean, I think we're all dealing with all this rain. But it hasn't stopped the last couple of days. we got rain again tomorrow. Um, last week we had a few days of straight rain. I mean, homes are being flooded, roads are being closed. Lakes are flooded. I mean, it's it's been pretty bad. So hopefully you guys are doing okay. Um, if you get the opportunity, hopefully you're out there catching some fish. I haven't had the chance yet. Like the rain really hasn't stopped, um, except on the uh, the nicer days, which that's when I'm working. Of course, you know it's always nice uh, when you got to work. But man, the wind has been crazy. Some days it's blowing 20, 30, even 40 miles per hour. You guys know I wash trucks for a living, and we were washing at FedEx on Tuesday. Man, that wind was just blowing, and, you know, we'll we'll wash the trucks as they come in. And I'll have a few machines going, and uh, or a few pressure washers going. we got a, guy, a couple guys rinsing, one guy soaping and all that, one guy brushing. And uh, normally we'll just, we'll do one, and uh, the next guy will just keep soaping the next truck and the next truck, and they'll just keep pulling up, and we'll rinse them. That way we can keep, you know, keep a few trucks wet, and um, get them washed faster that way. But with that wind, we had to complete one truck. We had to get it soaked, brushed, and rinsed off before we can move on to the next one. That line was like the length of the building. I mean, it was a long line. Trucks were waiting, backed up. But with that wind, I mean, they were drying so fast. It was terrible. But uh, like I said, the rain, the wind, the cold. Right now, it's like 45 degrees. It was like 80, what, a couple weeks back. We were in cutoffs, and now we're back in hoods. I mean, crazy weather and i was thinking this year really with the mild winter that we were going to have like a lot more um fishing time and you know it seems like with all this rain and wind and everything that it's i think we're getting less time than we got last year but it is what it is but uh hopefully you guys like i said are getting some fishing in the last time i fished was last thursday I made that video for mtb fishing that spinnerbait if you guys haven't seen that video definitely check that out it's not um it's not a slam I'm trying to do something different, and all the feedback I'm getting on that video, I think you guys like the new style. I'm just going to pick a bait or two that I feel I can catch fish on, and that way there's some fish catches in the video. I can tell you guys more about the baits because I fished them longer. You know, with a slam, you're only just catching one fish and you're done with it. That spinnerbait I fished for like three or four hours, so I was able to tell you guys the good and the bad about it, you know, the positive, the negatives. You know, I found some flaws in it. I was able to fix them and catch fish with the lure, so... Pretty cool video. Something that just came to me. You guys kind of like being involved in that video because I put a picture up on Facebook and let you guys guess which lures I'd be fishing from that box. But what if we, um, and you guys said you like being involved that way. What if I did my MTB unboxing, did the pro unboxing, and then in the comments, like I listed the lures or you guys could vote one way or the other. We'll work that out. But what if you guys voted on the lures in each video, and then I did a third video fishing those two lures. That's an idea. Give me some feedback in this video. Let me let me know what you guys think of that. But um, I just like the idea of just taking one lure, you know, putting it through the paces, fishing it a lot, seeing if it catches fish, and you know, figuring if the bait needs to be tweaked or not to how you know to make it catch fish. Just like I had to do with that spinnerbait. I mean, I thought that was fun. Um, the, the slams are a challenge, but I kind of like doing it that way. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, another thing I want to do is a Q&A video, which I'll, um, I'll put up next week. So leave a comment in this video that you want me to answer in a video next week. I would do those live streams, but if you guys seen in the past a few that I did on the phone, the signal's just terrible. They're all fuzzy and stuff, and I really don't like putting that kind of video up. So um, reply to my comment in this video like, I did, like I've done in the past. I'll put uh, comments here. You guys leave a comment, and um, I'll reply to those comments in the next video, either Tuesday or Thursday of uh, next week so leave me some feedback on the mtb videos how you want me to do those and um, reply to my comment if you have a comment you want me to answer in next week's video but guys that's pretty much it like i said just a rainy day i felt like getting out of the house got a couple errands to run wanted to get some lunch and um thought i'd say what's up to uh to my dudes real fast so hopefully you guys are doing okay give me a thumbs up if you liked the video give me some feedback on it and we'll talk to you soon see you guys